Did you know that the concept of democracy, which forms the backbone of many modern societies, was born in ancient Greece? It's true. Around 508 years before the Common Era, a seismic shift occurred in the city-state of Athens. A shift that would echo throughout the annals of human history. This was the birth of democracy, the revolutionary idea of power in the hands of the people. Now imagine living in an age where the concept of people governing themselves was as alien as the furthest reaches of the universe. In a world dominated by kings, emperors and oligarchs, Athens dared to tread a different path. They dared to believe in the collective wisdom of the common man and woman. The man credited with this audacious idea was Cleisthenes, an Athenian nobleman. He proposed a radical system where every free male citizen could have a say in the city's decisions. This was a stark contrast to the then prevailing system where only the aristocrats held the reins of power. In this new system, the assembly comprising every Athenian citizen became the heart of the city's governance. They would meet, discuss and vote on every law, every policy and every major decision. This was direct democracy in its purest form, a far cry from the representative democracies we're familiar with today. But it wasn't an overnight transformation. There were skeptics, naysayers and plenty of bumps along the road. Yet, the concept persevered, evolved and slowly but surely began to spread. The impact of this Athenian experiment was profound. It changed the course of human civilization, shaping the political landscapes of countless nations to come. It sparked debates about the rights of the individual, the role of the state, and the essence of freedom. It was the seed that sprouted into the tree of modern democracy. So when you cast your vote in an election, remember the ancient Athenians, remember Cleisthenes and his audacious idea. Remember that once upon a time, the concept of people governing themselves was revolutionary. Indeed, the seeds for what we now call democracy were sowed in the ancient city of Athens. The ancient Greeks were not just politicians, they were also inventors, engineers and scientists. Dive into the annals of history and one can't help but marvel at the ingenuity of the ancient Greeks. Even without the technological advancements we take for granted today, they managed to create a plethora of inventions that significantly impacted the world. Take the humble watermill, for instance. Invented by the Greeks around the 3rd century BC, this simple yet effective machine harnessed the power of flowing or falling water. The watermill was a groundbreaking invention, ushering in an era of mechanized labor and paving the way for the Industrial Revolution many centuries later. Another fascinating invention from ancient Greece is the alarm clock. Yes, you heard it right. The first known alarm clock was created by a brilliant engineer named Catesibius. He used an intricate system of pulleys and weights to create a water clock that could sound a whistle or peel a bell at a predetermined time. Imagine waking up to the sound of an alarm clock over 2,000 years ago. But perhaps the most astonishing Greek invention was the Antikythera mechanism. This ancient analog computer discovered in a shipwreck off the coast of the Greek island Antikythera dates back to the first century BC. Comprising a complex network of gears and wheels, it was used to predict astronomical positions and eclipses decades in advance. It stands as a testament to the advanced scientific knowledge and engineering prowess of the ancient Greeks. From the simple water mill to the complex Antikythera mechanism, the ancient Greeks demonstrated a remarkable capacity for innovation and creativity. Their inventions, though ancient, have had a lasting impact shaping the path of human progress and the development of technology. So, next time you snooze your alarm clock or marvel at the mechanics of a water-powered device, remember the ancient Greeks. Their innovative spirit continues to echo through our modern world, reminding us of their extraordinary contributions to science and technology. Without the innovative spirit of the ancient Greeks, our modern world might look very different. Have you ever wondered where the Olympics originated? The origins of this global sporting event can be traced back to the sunny lands of ancient Greece in the year 776 before Christ. The Olympic Games, as we know them today, are a modern interpretation of an ancient tradition that was much more than a mere sporting event. In the early days, the Olympics were held in Olympia, a sanctuary of ancient Greece in Elis. The Games were part of a religious festival in honor of the king of the Greek gods, Zeus. The athletes competed with a sense of reverence, their victories seen as a tribute to the mighty Zeus. 
The first recorded Olympic Games consisted of only one event, the Stadion Race, a sprint of approximately 192 meters. The winner of this inaugural race was a cook from Elis named Koroibos. Little did he know he was setting a precedent for thousands of athletes to come thousands of years into the future. The Games were not just about athletic prowess though. They were a significant event that promoted peace among the frequently warring Greek city-states. A sacred truce was declared before and during the Olympics, allowing athletes and spectators from different regions to travel safely to Olympia. The Olympics became such a critical part of Greek identity that time was measured by the four-year intervals between the Games, known as Olympiads. This period was used as a reference point to date historical events, reflecting the profound impact of the Games on Greek society. In a way, the ancient Olympics were the backbone of unity in Greece, bringing together people from different corners of the region. They were a symbol of shared cultural identity, a celebration of athletic skill, and a testament to the human desire for peaceful competition. The spirit of the ancient Greek Olympics lives on today. Every four years, athletes from around the globe gather to compete, not for the favor of Zeus, but for the honor of their countries and the pursuit of personal victory. The Olympic Games, a symbol of unity and peace, is another invaluable legacy of ancient Greece. The ancient Greeks were deep thinkers, and their thoughts have shaped the world as we know it. One cannot talk about the intellectual achievements of ancient Greece without mentioning the philosophers who laid the foundation of Western thought. Among them, three figures stand out, Socrates, Plato and Aristotle. Socrates, the oldest of the trio, is often credited as one of the founders of Western philosophy. His method of questioning, the Socratic method, is still used in classrooms today as a way to stimulate critical thinking. Socrates believed that the best way to attain knowledge was through a cooperative argument, an approach that encourages us to question our assumptions and beliefs. Plato, a student of Socrates, took these teachings and gave them a twist of his own. He founded the Academy in Athens, one of the earliest known organized schools in Western civilization. Plato's theories of forms and ideas have been influential in fields ranging from metaphysics to ethics. His dialogues, featuring Socrates as a main character, have become classics in the realm of philosophy. Then there's Aristotle, a student of Plato. He was a polymath, making significant contributions to a staggering number of fields. His work in philosophy, however, is particularly noteworthy. Aristotle's philosophy, grounded in empirical observation and logical reasoning, laid the groundwork for the scientific method. His ideas on ethics, politics and aesthetics continue to shape these fields today. These three philosophical titans did not just philosophize in isolation. They were part of a vibrant intellectual culture that encouraged questioning, debate and the pursuit of knowledge. They set the stage for the development of critical thinking, a cornerstone of modern education. Their ideas, their methods, their thirst for knowledge, all of these have left an indelible mark on the world. We see their influence in the way we think, the way we learn, and the way we understand the world. The ancient Greeks were not just philosophers, but also pioneers of human thought and understanding. From democracy to philosophy, the ancient Greeks have left a profound impact on our modern world. The cradle of democracy born in Athens remains at the heart of our political systems. A myriad of inventions from the water clock to the first analog computer continue to inspire the technological advances we see today. The birthplace of the Olympic Games, ancient Greece fostered a spirit of competition and sportsmanship that still echoes in our stadiums and arenas. The profound thoughts of philosophers like Socrates, Plato and Aristotle have shaped our understanding of life truth and the universe. In essence, the legacy of ancient Greece is interwoven into the fabric of contemporary societies, influencing our laws, our technologies, our sports and our philosophical inquiries. As we navigate through our modern world, we can't help but trace many of our practices and beliefs back to the ancient Greeks, the architects of Western civilization.